In this week's court report, a Pahrump man with a recently recorded history of battery dating back to September 2017 now has three open cases in justice court with a total of seven separate charges. Brandon Reading's latest case and arrest stems from a domestic battery allegation involving a reported fight with his former roommates who the suspect used to live with at an area residence. Reading is reportedly related to one victim through marriage. The victims told police that Reading came to the front door and kicked it in off its hinges, then began punching an unidentified male victim. The fight continued outside after the victim says he was able to push Reading out the doorway. After Reading reportedly threw a beer at him, the victim grabbed a baseball bat to defend himself against Reading. The unidentified female victim says Reading was upset because they left some food on their front porch for Reading, but he did not think they left enough for him. Police say the suspect took off on foot and he actively resisted after they located him. After Reading was questioned, he did become compliant and then acknowledged that there was a fight, after which police observed fresh blood on both the suspect and one victim. In relation to this latest incident, Reading is now facing the formal charges of domestic battery, criminal contempt, injury to other party less than $200. $150 and resisting a public officer. Notably, Reading is also facing separate charges of battery simple and injury to other party less than $250 stemming from an incident back on September 7th, 2017. Also notably, just six days before that incident, Reading also racked up a battery simple charge for an incident on September 1st. During Reading's formal arraignment, the court briefed the record, noting attorney Riker had previously been appointed to represent the defendant. Attorney Reichert waived formal arraignment proceedings and motion for a pretrial hearing and status hearing to trail the related felony case. The court set a pretrial hearing for February 8th and a status hearing for March 8th. Then the defendant was remanded to the custody of the Nye County Detention Center. The Pahrump man accused of financial crimes against the Pahrump Nugget and a Las Vegas area Wells Fargo has his pretrial hearing continued per defense request. Andrew Christian Myers now has that proceeding scheduled April 25th. Myers was arrested after an NCSO deputy and detective responded to a Wells Fargo branch here in Pahrump in reference to embezzlement. This after discovery of three transactions totaling more than $10,000, leaving the balance on the account in question at negative $3. After a search warrant for bank records was obtained, the digital stills, withdrawal slip, and signature cards obtained identified Myers. He's currently facing the formal charge of embezzlement, value greater than $3,500. Myers currently has an active cash bail or bond of $5,000. The Pahrump woman connected to the killing of 17 dogs after a fire was reportedly intentionally set inside her home was recently a court again, this time for a status check reset confirmed trial date. Diane Davis appeared with her attorney, Lisa Rasmussen, who states she would like to confirm the trial dates and states she's not ready because she has not received the defendant's file. A rep for the state then requested a new status check date in mid -June. June. Then the court rescheduled Davis's calendar call to June 18th. Davis's pending jury trial date is now August 18th, 2018. This has been your court report. I'm Unette Gentry for News 46.